there are fringes where I can still see moisture on the pit straight, and I'm looking forward to seeing the images up the top as to what they're dealing with. It's probably to a degree somewhat like what we saw in practice one Thursday morning. That's one of the issues. So you could just see there, as Shane was getting in, that when you get out, you've got to be so careful that the shoulder strap doesn't tuck itself in behind you and then you can't retrieve it. So they've got an assistant from both sides there to help with that. In fact, they weren't doing that earlier in the weekend. They've changed that, haven't they? Because earlier in the weekend, their driver changes didn't have an assist. They were doing it themselves. So I reckon they've actually changed that system between Garth and Shane. And you happen to snatch a break, like here. Look at that on the right-hand side of the racetrack, on the left-hand side of our picture. Same here. Get out on those fringes, and that track is ready to bite. Jack Jenkins in this car. Opens up the radius of the corner, flat through the chase, and then it's everything you can muster on that brake pedal. And oh, he Whoa. battled, he battled, he battled to oh. stop it. In fact, he couldn't stop it. Oh, I could see that one coming. You can smell it from 100 metres out. Brake rotor and brake pad are rotated and matched and bedded. That can be part of it. Some of it can be brake bias. Some of it can be brake cooling. Because one of the great challenges at Mount Panorama is Shane goes to the top on 2 minutes 6.4 number against his name. Stop. You've got plenty of Dunlop hard slick tyres available to you as Boston's on a good lap here. This is going to pitch him to the top on the current projection. So I, I just, it's a phrase that you used when you're a competitor, live for the now. Go out there, do it, do your full rehearsal. If it buckets, it's the same nightmare for everybody and it'll probably vary from lap to lap and then that's a whole other deal. But I think you've got to try it and understand what you're dealing with in these conditions. That's a 6-1 for Chas Mostert. Now, that does put him to the top, and it's actually a decent margin. It's vision and data that we looked at earlier. Oh, I thought he was going to get caught then, and he did a little bit. He's backed it off, and he's driven down the inside of the charter entry, the Caltex entry, because he wasn't very happy with how he got treated there. Is that Shane still on board? Yes, it is. It's Matt Charter in the Caltex Young Stars entry. Chris Gillespie and Caltex have put a big investment in a couple of youngsters. Quite good. I had a bit of under there over the top. But the entry bed is very strong. We just lost traction. Now, when you do that, you roll out really gently and then you crack the throttle and do your lap like you normally would. And that's probably what Will's up to at the moment. He's sharing with his brother, Alex, who's got a 100% finishing record at Mount Panorama in the great race. And the number for Will is a 5.6 on a nice, fresh, grippy Dunlop hard tyre. But still on a compromised surface. So still the edge of the road at many of the locations. And that's Brody Kostecki. He's having a real crack at the moment too. You can see how vigorous he was with the steering wheel on that little run down. Uh, this looks like a little pit lane traffic jam here. And uh, he would have arrived at the B pillar if he'd pressed on with that. <laughs> You're not normally perpendicular. No, that's usually a slightly different angle than when they're normally debating that. How's that? Cam Waters leaping up and over the curbs. And that little bit of water will have paid, played a role there. He's looked really good in that zone, hasn't he? Yeah. All weekend, the car's been really nice in there. When you use those clips on the brakes that you were talking about before, two marks has to sink from the red flag, bridge. Red flag, red flag, then you'll also more... Flag, oh, oh, is he gonna, he's caught the red flag before he's got to cross the line. Again. So they, it doesn't get recorded. Oh, my goodness. Off the road for Jordan, uh, boys, and buried in the wet and forget uh, Commodore. So Will Davison uh, didn't actually get the number recorded because the red was a couple of seconds too early for him. So what has happened here? This is McPhillamy. Oh, they just repaired that car. Oh. So that's right front, right rear. Heavy damage on that car. Last thing they needed after finishing at 1.30 this morning, putting Humpty back together again after the drama, and then it's yeah, it's fallen into the sand trap at McPhillamy. So that's going nowhere in a hurry. And that was also not only catastrophic for Jordan and for that car, and this is the reason why he's made heavy contact at the top of the hill. But for Will Davison, who we were studying on his lap, he didn't get the lap recorded. The lap was a 5.6. So we, we've actually seen the number. Right. Yeah. Okay, that, that was equal to his best. Yeah. Jeez, what a torrid weekend for this garage. Didn't feel like a huge hit. 
It's Macaulay Jones' birthday today, so there won't be too many birthday cake celebrations going on in there at the moment. 21 seconds remain in the session, so it'll be called. They won't go back out. We're done and dusted for the final practice session. It's ended on a slightly dour note, unfortunately, for Jordan Boys and Macaulay Jones. Chas Mostert, though, quickest with a 5-5. Shane Van Gisbergen, Will Davis and Cam Waters and David Reynolds telling us that the margins at the top are very tight. Deep Pasquale, bit of a puzzle there, started a quick lap but didn't go on with it. We'll try and get to the bottom of the story. Brody Kostecki, Mark Winterbottom's actually shone more in this session. That's encouraging for him. Matt Payne, Scott Pye, the 10. And then the next group you can see headed by Heimgartner, Courtney Stanaway, Brown, O'Keefe. And I'm reading those that were actually in the cars at the end of it. They're not necessarily the drivers that have done the job. So a couple of cars missing in action there as well.